Hey besties and welcome back to my channel. My name is Annalise and in today's video we are going to be reviewing the weirdest items on YesStyle part 2 because a couple of weeks ago I uploaded the weirdest items I bought on YesStyle and since then you guys have been sending me lots of messages with weird and wonderful items that you have found on YesStyle that arguably are even weirder than the last video. Let me set the scene for the first item. It is in my favourite colour, hot pink, and it is a meant to be a going out top and it is very unique to say the least. Yes, you are seeing that correctly. There are gloves sewn on to this top. And yes, those gloves do have stuffing in them. They are thick gloves. So this is the top. It is so weird to me. Now look, we know I love a handprint moment. I had this crop top from Shein that I wear all the time, but the hands are like covering your boobs. So it's kind of like saucy. This is just in a random spot. And I just don't understand why they have been stuffed full. Like that is so odd to me. And it's just such an odd design. All right, this is what the pink top looks like on. So this is the front and this is the back and it is just such an odd design. I feel like now that I have it on, I can really showcase how weird this is because I was thinking about it and it's just, I was like, yeah, I feel like gloves or hands on a top isn't that crazy. What makes this so weird? I think it's first of all that the gloves are sewn in at the end here and they don't continue onto the top. I feel like if you had the arm bits continuing around this, it would look so much cuter, but nope, they've just cut it off. And also I think that it being stuffed so full looks so weird because it, if they were going for like a saucy, sexy vibe, like, Oh, hands on your top. They've missed the mark. Oh, lost my footing there. They've missed the marker on this one because it being stuffed so thick and full just looks so odd. To me, it looks like when you blow up a rubber glove and they've just stuck it down. Or it looks like that I've just put this through my washing machine. I've pulled it out, gloves are attached, and I'm just like, whatever. Put it on and gone about my day. So definitely a super odd design. I did say earlier that the quality on it was really bad. It's not good quality by any means, but it's not see-through like I thought it would be, which is great. And I do love the color because the bright pink is gorgeous but the hands so weird. As is tradition in these videos, I of course have a pair of denim shorts that are super weird to share with you guys. This pair has the potential that I may like it because look, I say all of these are crazy, but my style is also kind of crazy. So sometimes I just like these items. So these, I'm, oh God, uh, take it back. I don't think I like these. So these are the shorts. They are. They are this pair of denim shorts that are cut super high cut, basically like a pair of underwear, and then have blue feathers on the outside. What the heck? When I was saying I might like these, I kind of forgot that they were cut like underwear. I was thinking more like they were actual shorts with feathers on them. But uh, yeah, definitely a weird design. That is for sure. I mean, the denim on these is actually pretty good quality. I'm very surprised. I thought for sure that this would be like a gag types outfit and therefore like it wouldn't look very good. But I mean, it doesn't look good, but the quality on it is pretty good. So let's go try them on and I'll see what we think. These are what the crazy shorts look like on. So this is the front and this is the back. I'm unsure if I need the censored box on the back yet. Editing Annalise will have to decide that one because these feel like a lot of my butt is hanging out and they also just feel really weird having this feather everywhere and I don't know I kind of wish they were a little more high-waisted because I don't like how much of my stomach is out but yeah these other shorts are definitely a very weird design. I do like these shorts because they're unique like I haven't seen anyone wear anything like this before but for me personally I'm not gonna be wearing them. If they were a little bit longer and like an actual pair of denim shorts with this fluffiness on them. I would wear them. I think that's so cute, but it's just the cut for me. Like, it's such a weird design. The feathers are weird enough. Why did we need to add the next aspect of making them, like, underwear? I don't understand. I don't understand. Also, if you're wondering if the feathers are itchy, the answer is yes. They are incredibly itchy. <laughs> this next item may look like it's a pair of denim shorts in this bag, but from memory, I'm pretty sure I got a top. I actually don't know what to say about this top. I'm kind of speechless. So this is the top. Yeah, so it is a denim top, I guess as you would say, made what looks like out of a pair of shorts. We love upcycling. We love upcycling. I turn old items into new ones all the time, as you guys have seen on my channel. I even turned my Halloween costumes into wearable outfits. So, I mean, it looks like a DIY from a pair of denim shorts into a top. So, interesting. Interesting. And then the back has um, elastic so that it'll stretch and be wearable. Love that. What does this say on it? I don't know. It's not in English. It's not in English, but it says something about cake on this label. So, I don't know what that means, but definitely um, super, super weird. I don't know who is buying this to actually wear it. But one thing that's kind of annoying is that all of the um, distressing is coming out all over the place and kind of falling all over me. So I wouldn't feel comfortable wearing this top. I mean, for a number of reasons. But one of the reasons I wouldn't feel comfortable wearing this top is because with all of this ripping, it's eventually going to get even smaller. Like it's going to eventually rip all the way down to the hemming there. So that isn't ideal and it's just not, not the best 
quality this top, which <laughs> I mean, I feel so weird commenting on the quality when I'm literally holding next to nothing, but let's go put this next to nothing on. This top is even saucier now that I have it on than it was when I held it in my hand. So this is the front and this is the back. And as I put this on, I realize what a risk this top is to wear out and about because there's no structure, no, I really was chewing on those eyes there. There's no structure to this top. So as such, this can flip up at any time, these pocket parts. And the only reason that my boob wasn't out then is because I was holding it down. Otherwise it would be phew, full to the wind. And if there's any sort of wind, because even though this is denim, it's a really thin piece of denim, any sort of wind, it's blowing up and flashing you to the world. So if you want this item, I mean, I feel like people don't really watch this to buy these items, do they? But if you want this item, you definitely need fashion tape keeping it all together. And overall, it's just a real poor made product because as I said earlier, it's all gonna fall apart really easily and it's just so weird. Like who wants to wear denim pockets? as a top. And if you are, just make it yourself, babes. I'm sure you've got a pair of denim something lying around that you can turn into a top. You don't need to spend the money on it because this is so odd. I like the uniqueness of it. I like the vibe that they were going for, but it just does not look good. We are continuing with the handprint theme, it seems today, because the next item that I got is a dress that has hands holding the boobs area together. As you can see, this is the dress. So this is what it looks like. It's a midi, no, not midi, sorry, mini in length and it has the hands on top it has a little cut out on the stomach and then it also has the chain that joins into the little neck choker part but the crazy part here is of course oops the hands the hands are so weird I think it's the thumb that makes this even weirder because I don't know this has potential to look like sexy and kind of look like it's a pair of hands you know holding your boobs I think that would look really hot but I think it's the way that these hands have been designed to be like so chunky and weird looking that it's just I don't know it's just an odd design it's it doesn't it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. The idea was there, but I don't think the execution was. But I don't know. Let's go try it on because it might look better once it's on. When unboxing this dress, I knew that it was going to look weird, but I actually didn't realize just how scandalous it is. And I physically can't wear this dress because I have to keep my hands here at all times. So this is the front and this is the back. And it's actually a pretty cool design, which I didn't expect. But unfortunately, there is not enough fabric on this dress and my boobs are fully out. Even if I pulled this chain super tight so that the dress was pulled in really tight, there's still just not enough fabric and the cuts between the fingers are way too deep. Like it's not wearable and therefore my entire boob is out. And yeah, not gonna show that to the internet, that's for sure. So really disappointing because it's just poor planning. They've obviously designed this dress without an actual body in mind, as in like forgetting the women have boobs or not necessarily women, whoever wants to wear this has boobs and doesn't want their nipples out. That has definitely been forgotten when designing this dress because the finger cuts just go way too deep. Apart from that, I actually did like this dress. If it was wearable, I'd probably keep it and wear it because I think it's such a fun design. It's weird. Don't get me wrong, super weird, but the hands don't look as bad as I thought they would. So yeah, I'm pretty disappointed with this one. This next item is a top that I've actually seen popping up all over the internet lately. Once I looked at this on YesStyle, I started getting ads for it on TikTok as well. And to say it's a top might be a bit much. It's kind of a scarf that people are wearing as a top is how I would describe it. So this is the item. It is this red pleather, because it's not real leather, obviously, top. Um, yeah, so you just kind of wear it like so because it's kind of weird when you're looking at it there's a little magnet in here that you use to wear this top and that's it that's keeping everything together and it kind of looks like i'm a clown that wanted to get an office job you know <laughs> like this is such a weird item how is this a top how i mean i'm all for fashion but i don't think it's even gonna look good once it's on and it's just a literal strip of cheap material what the heck this is what the red top looks like on so this is the front and to show you the back i'm actually gonna have to like full hold it because this is the back there's nothing there is nothing keeping this together at all now oh my god see it's just come undone as i said that because literally the only thing keeping this top on is a magnet and it is not a strong magnet y'all so that is what is keeping this together in the center but there's nothing on the sides here it really probably needs like a strap from the back to the side here to keep like it in place and so that my boobs don't fly out but it doesn't have that it does not have that. So I don't know how you're expected to wear this. I mean, fashion tape is a choice, but I still don't even think fashion tape would be enough because there's just not enough material here. So I feel quite exposed in this top. And also it's an odd design. It's not even like it's a cute design and it's worth the potential risk. It's not, it looks really weird. It looks like I've just got a scrap of fabric, cut it in a diagonal shape and pops it on. Like it does not look good. Can we just all agree right now? This does not look good. I just don't like it. And then the lucky last item in today's video, I 
night. This just shows that I really do love weird items sometimes because I'm also doing just a standard Yes Style haul that'll be up soon on this channel. So with this item, I was like, I can't remember if I bought that for the weirdest items video or if I bought that just for myself for the normal haul because this is the item. It is a skirt with a cat on it in some sort of crochet style. And we all know I am a crazy cat lady. I'm obsessed with my cat, Charlie. He is my son. Y'all, he turns 14 next month. Can you believe that? Isn't that crazy? But anyway, yeah, so I was unsure if I bought this for the weirdest items video or just for myself. But I think I bought it for this video, but I am going to wear this. I mean, purple. I don't own many purple items. A picture of a cat on it. Oh, we love it. It's a Y2K dream. But I can see how to the general audience, this would be, oh my God, it's a pussy on pussy again. I didn't even register that. I did not even register that. Oh my god, I fall into this trap again. If you have seen my weirdest items in Shein video, I bought a skirt kind of similar to this and I realized that it's actually a joke because it's a cat on your, you know, I've done it again. I've done it again. I am too naive for this world, but I got it because I thought the cat looked cute. So let's just go put it on and see what we think. Here we have the little cat skirt on. So this is the front and this is the back. Unfortunately, it's the tiniest bit too big on me, but I actually really like this. It's weird. Like, I know it's so weird to have basically an embroidered picture of a cat as a skirt, but I love it. I think this is so cute and it's just like the perfect element of crazy cat lady because it's like crazy cat lady, but make it stylish. So I'm obsessed with this. Quality on this isn't the best. It is just a cheap satin material, but I really like the cat. I wish it looked like mine. I am not over the fact that it's obviously some sort of joke that I did not know about, so I, I, I messed up on that one. I messed up on that one. But I do like this skirt, and I think that I'm going to keep it to wear. And those were the weirdest clothing items that I bought on YesStyle. Which one was your favourite? Be sure to comment down below and let me know what I should buy the weirdest clothing items from next. Also, whilst you are down below, be sure to subscribe to my channel, because I upload every single week Week, sometimes twice a week and also be sure to check out my other social medias as well I am on Instagram TikTok Facebook snapchat Depop I am everywhere if you look up Annalise Wood I should come up thank you guys so so much for watching I love you all so so much and I'll see you in my next video bye Mwah!